Simple flow has a unique characteristic that it is sublinear relative to the number of pixels in the frame. What this means is that as we feed in more pixels, we won't have large jumps in computational time, making it ideal for video editing. How do we achieve this? Our algorithm has two properties. First, all computation is done through local operations. No global operations are involved, therefore highly parallelizable. Second, our algorithm uses a sublinear scheme which again scales very well with high resolution videos. We show that using our technique will benefit multiple graphics applications. In our implementation on the NVIDIA 285 GTX, we compute dense optical flow on a 4K frame pair. The computational time takes 36.5 seconds, whereas other algorithms we tested crashed at such a high resolution. We will now show you a few graphics applications in video editing that can be made possible with our algorithm. All of our examples are shot in full high definition 720p. We calculate the flow for every pixel giving us dense motion estimation. These simple applications are only here to demonstrate how our optical flow algorithm could be used for editing. We do not claim them as contributions, but we focus our attention on the algorithm that enables these applications to be done on high resolution. The first example we show is texture mapping. This cloth example is a challenging case with non-rigid deformations and complex motions. We use several points. Each point uses an average of the vectors around its neighborhood to compute its location on the next frame. Just using the motion vectors, we can see that the points move accordingly. Because of the dense optical flow vectors, the points move continuously and realistically. Now, we color in the points using texture of a smiley face. We can see the textures move accordingly to the motion of the cloth. We recorded a video that exhibits a challenging case of non-rigid deformation and face motion without textures. On the first frame, we initiated tracking on multiple points. Using our optical flow results, the points propagate through the video without much drifting. Subject recoloring. The original video clip is here. We want to recolor the woman's shirt to purple. On the first frame, the user selects the subject. We change only the colors similar to the selected color. Using our dense optical flow algorithm, we propagate these edits throughout the video. The result exhibits temporally coherent result without rotoscoping. These three HD examples used our optical flow computation only requiring 4 seconds per pair of frame. In conclusion, we present an algorithm that scales sublinearly with resolution, enabling optical flow computation on high resolution videos such as 1080p, 4K, commonly used in movie production. The algorithm also performs accurately as shown in our middle Barry benchmark results. Thank you.